Hello everyone, and here's a video on comparing the top four companies for DNA in the U.S. And these companies are probably the top four around the world as well. So this video is for you as well outside of the USA. All right, here's the Ancestry DNA page for my uh, ethnicity estimate here, as you can see on the screen. And Ancestry is the quote-unquote big gorilla in the room when it comes to DNA testing. They are probably the biggest company, private company in the world that does this sort of testing. The most number of people tested at this time. And here's how my personal breakdown works with them. Uh, they've got me at Ireland and Scotland, 80% here in the month of May of 2020. And these estimates have changed over the years as well. I've got to tell you, you know, a little bit here and there. Every time they revise, uh, they'll put a revision out probably once or twice a year. And these numbers can fluctuate. But lately they've gotten even better at pinpointing at least with me specifically the Irish part of my ancestry I never really knew exactly where my Irish ancestors were from and now due to all of the people that have tested in the world and specifically over in Ireland I can narrow down the different areas where my family was from uh, here you can see Northern Ireland here in Ulster, and that's right here. Uh, a little town called Fermon, and then South Down and North Louth. Wow, what a name. So that's one part of my Irish heritage here. And then here in Central Ireland is another, Ross Common. Now, I had my great-grandmother, I had traced her down to possibly being born in Roscommon, although family talk over the years and talking with my aunt uh, probably 25 years ago and my mother, I recall them saying something about they came from County Cork. So perhaps, you know, the family originated uh, in Roscommon here and North Roscommon specifically and then may have moved to Cork so for all they knew the family of Ireland that they knew of came from Cork so but this is a, a fantastic tool that Ancestry offers again I said one of the biggest in the world if not the biggest private DNA Ancestry company going. Uh, England at 17% with me specifically, and then Sweden at 3%. And uh, those who have watched my videos before, probably familiar with this, I recently found within the last two years or so, uh, my link from either Sweden and Finland, and that'll play a part in one of the other companies I'm gonna talk about in this video how those ancestors left from Sweden in the 1600s sailed in a boat across the ocean as you can see on the screen here and ended up settling an area that wasn't the United States yet they came up here under New Jersey sailed up this Delaware River and ended up right in this area of Delaware. Uh, they settled right right in here. Um, they have little islands out here and uh, they actually settled uh, a part of what would become Delaware. It was called New Sweden and uh, very interesting stuff there. So that reflects this uh, Swedish component and then of course they're telling you where your early DNA relatives are from the United States in my case here 
All right, so that's Ancestry. And like I said, you're paying one fee. I got my test several years ago. I want to think it was possibly seven to eight years ago. Uh, and it's been updated constantly since. Uh, these mappings, the, uh, the pinpoint accuracy, so to speak, of what they've come up with has been dramatically improved over the years. All right, so that's Ancestry, probably, like I said, number one in the world as far as this. Now let's jump over to Family Tree DNA. Um, I transferred all of my DNA uh, from my file with Ancestry into these other companies. I did not pay for separate tests. So here is what their database reflects on me personally here. 99% uh, European, with 86% of that coming from this area, Ireland, United Kingdom. And that's about right if you remember the other numbers. I think it had it a little bit higher with Ancestry. But they're also picking up a family tree DNA, um, Southeast Europe, which includes portions of uh, Italy, a little bit of Switzerland, Austria here perhaps, Croatia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Serbia, all this area, Greece, um, and possibly, like I said, Italy. So that side of the family is a side that I haven't really tracked down yet. So except for the possibility is this. I had the Y-DNA test with this family tree company and that's a tracing of your uh, paternal roots your father to his father to his father father to father for generations back you can go back a thousand years with that and see that you know when people emigrated out of africa they went into this area um, through Iraq and Turkey and up and eventually up through Europe. That's where my family started out of Africa. It's in the, called the F as in Frank Haplo group. Um, so it was one of the first few uh, migrations out of Africa and it took this path. So whether or not that's reflected from this, I'm not sure. I'm still researching that. So that is uh, Family Tree DNA. That's how they present their material as of right now here in, again, May of 2020. This is the Origins version 2, and they're updating it, but they don't update things as fast as Ancestry DNA does. Uh, Ancestry seems to have more of a... Uh, finger on the pulse as far as what people are looking for and they have a bigger database so with the people that are in the family tree database um, I've matched in these areas and if you notice it doesn't have the Sweden Finland link here in this um, breakdown so that may mean that they just don't have enough people tested in this area to reflect that possibly all right let's jump on to the next site here I'll try to keep this video kind of brief just uh, you know jump around here and let you see the different companies here's my heritage with the DNA results for me um, ethnicity estimate Europe 100% that falls along the same lines as the previous two Irish Scottish and Welsh 93% and that would encompass the United Kingdom as well. Now in this company I'm interested that it also has the Italian area at 2%. So I'm starting to think that that's that's holding some weight because these companies my heritage and to a certain extent family tree DNA may have a good 
foothold of testing in Europe. So that may mean that, yes, I do have some sort of uh, relatives that came from, from this area in Italy, which the ancestry DNA does not reflect. Okay, and then another important aspect of what this company shows is the Finnish connection. They're not calling us Sweden. They're calling it Finland, 6.3%, which is pretty, pretty uh, impressive, pretty high number. And that relative that I said left from Sweden, the family, from my research, I had actually found out that they were from Finland and they departed from Sweden. So these people may have probably been from Finland, so it's reflecting the Finnish 6.3%. Um, so that was very interesting as well, and I just came upon this the other day. I hadn't been on the MyHeritage DNA results for quite some time, and they have uh, also been improving what they're showing you here as well. Okay, and they have a, a great test going on right now. If you're watching this video in May, not sure how much longer. Let's see, it does say 13 days from now. So by the end of May of 2020, this sale will be over. But this is a spectacular sale. DNA test, only $39. That's the cheapest, most reasonable price I've ever seen for DNA testing. $39. It's quite a bargain. So I wouldn't hesitate to take advantage of that if you were thinking about testing, even if down the road you want to go with Ancestry. Right now you can do it with MyHeritage. All right, and last on the list here, certainly not last uh, across the United States, is 23andMe, based out of San Francisco. They're primarily a health test type of company, as you can see here. Uh, they had their services sort of uh, clipped for a while in the U.S. as their health testing revealed a little too much, and the regulators shut this company down to a certain extent with as far as how much health information that they can reveal from DNA testing. But anyway, they've been back up for quite some time now, approved they do the testing primarily again for health but they're also in the ancestry uh, end of it as well not as big as the previous three companies by any means but here's their results for me specifically uh, European 99.9 percent .9%, British and Irish 81.3 percent that's about right on uh, this one, this company has me at French and German at 8.1%. Now, that's pretty interesting. Uh, nobody else has really picked up on the French-German aspect. Um, it goes through uh, France here, Paris, Bordeaux. Uh, notice that the Italy is not selected here, so it's it's primarily France and possibly Germany at eight one eight point one percent. That's pretty high, pretty high amount there. And I like the way Twenty Three and Me gives you a lot of information on how different areas of the world were uh, settled. It gives you some culture type of information as well, stuff that you don't find on the other sites. So all these sites have their own um, nice parts to them, so to speak. Uh, here's the Scandinavian look again here. 0.4% uh, is all it came to on this service. And that could just mean that they don't have a lot of test results from this area. Uh, Scandinavia being, again, Finland, Sweden, that 
sort of uh, type of area in the world. And last but not least here, broadly Northwest European. So somewhere up in this area, that could encompass more of the Sweden, Finland type of area as well. Okay, so I hope you liked this look at all four biggest companies that test your DNA. All four were a little different. If I had to lean on one the biggest, it would be Ancestry.com. But you can learn a lot from each one of these companies. So I wouldn't hesitate recommending either of them for you to test with. Hope you liked this video. Please subscribe and like. Hit that like button and subscribe, please, so I can get more uh, subscribers and get more information out to you. Thanks.